I am on the sofa on a plane at the office at the store, at the park in a bathtub, in an elevator, in a hallway, in San Francisco, in Texas, in New York, on the phone, on the computer, on a waiting list, waiting, waiting, waiting for it to be over. The moral to the story is that depression is not a state of mind. It is geography. It is not affect. It's tangible. And I can see and touch it. And it's different every time. And sometimes it's more over than it was the last time. And sometimes it's less over than it was the last time. And sometimes I can't remember what it was like before it was over. And sometimes I can't forget. I can't forget a room, a bathtub, the closet I shut myself in to scream, a dark corner in a hallway, a staircase I was too tired to climb, a dirty stoop, a doorway where our homeless neighbor slept, an alley where people write very loud, an overexposed photo of a break in a storm, <laughs> a break in a storm, a break in a storm. My storm. Very depressed is nine feet under and the long way out. A six foot depression is fairly predictable and comfortable. Four feet under, and you just have to wait till it's over. The doldrums is about six inches under. Mild depression that mostly holds me back from making any serious decisions is an irritating layer of dust. The moral to the story is depression is not a state of mind. It is geography. It is not affect. It is tangible. I can see and touch it. And it is different every time.